Hi guys, this is the continuation of SA 501 claims and litigations. For an example, I am going to finalize my 31st March car financial statement arrived at a profit of 1 crore rupees. Later point of time, the company has lost a case and they are obliged to pay 2 crore car penalty. Before I am issuing the audit report, this matter I have to be incorporated in my financial statement. If I am not giving that adequate consideration, I am ignoring that. I am issuing the statements based on 1 crore rupees car profit. What will happen? The actual financial statements is a loss of 1 crore rupees. Why? Because we are paying the penalty of 2 crore rupees. So thus these items become a special consideration items. What are the procedures auditors want to do in this connection? That is the subject matter. We don't know about the claims, cases which are pending of my clients. What I have to do? From where I will get the information? What technique I have to use? Go and inquire either to the management of the organization or the advocate of the organization. How many cases are pending in the court? How many cases the company may have the chances of lose? Take the list. Finalize the amount 4 crore rupees. The compensation, if the case's company loss has to pay, then what we have to do? We have to make a provision. It's a prudent norm. All non losses we have to provide. If we are not taken these aspects, why? Because there is nothing in the financial statement which will give a clue that. The cases are pending in the court unless we making the inquiries. If we ignore that, I am finalizing my financial statement based on 1 crore rupees car profit without considering the impact of the case I lost. Then my financial statement will go wrong. So I need to consider this aspect. I have to consider these aspects. I have to take a list from the management. All known cases list I have to take. Otherwise it will burn our hands. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day ahead.